Uh, Leon Lewillier, I'm Executive Chairman of Respiri. I am a businessman and I've also spent a lot of time in uh, medical research. So on the medical research side, I was fortunate enough to be Chairman of the group in Australia that developed the day and night contact lens and I've had a variety of roles in the, in the business sector, both in Australia and overseas. Respiri has the first digital wheeze technology, that's to detect asthma. Wheeze is the most important symptom. We're really part of the global revolution in, in fitness and wellness. So the first phase has been the typical Fitbit device or the jawbone or the Apple Watch that people wear. And our product is the second phase of that, which is a medical device. Uh, and it's really one step up in technology and degree of difficulty. Well, in addition to myself, we've got a group of partners, uh, one of which we're here today, which is the Two Bulls Group. They're our app developer and helped us uh, put together the Wii's inside the app. But they're a global company, so all the time we've sought global partners because we are in a global business. Core technology was developed by uh, Professor Gavrielli, who was a world expert and probably one of the most internationally recognised respiratory physicians in the world. The first task and one of the reasons I'm uh, going to Hong Kong is to uh, secure some new investment and that's important for us to keep developing the commercialisation of our business. But the second thing we're doing is to uh, conduct a trial at the University of Chicago. Risks uh, generally in medical devices uh, revolve around uh, regulatory issues. We don't think it's a great risk for us because we've already got approvals on all our products, so it's not as difficult in our case to get that regulatory approval. There's 340 million people plus in the world with asthma, so it's a very, very large market. We're in that space. We do have the leading edge technology for the ability to measure and detect wheeze.